Developing tonight, a suspect is in police custody in connection with anti-Semitic vandalism in West Rogers Park. WGN's Megan Dwyer joining us now with the latest on the investigation. Megan. So they're in the middle right now of a meeting with the mayor and police and community members. What we're learning now is that police say they believe one person is in custody. They believe it's just one person. And this person might have been responsible for previous attacks in that area long before this weekend. The mayor says it's very difficult to bring hate crime charges, but they are considering it. The person who ever did it is just, just yes, to understand that we are all the same people. We're all God's people. We need to be treated equally. The owner of the Tel Aviv kosher bakery on Devon says Saturday someone smashed the front door of his shop. I'm very angry. As it turns out, it wasn't the only act of violence against the West Rogers Park Jewish community this weekend during the Sabbath. This is not going to be tolerated. All along Devon Avenue from Albany to Richmond, someone spray painted swastikas, smashed windows and vandalized Jewish schools. At the Free Synagogue, members were inside busy packing meals for Holocaust survivors when their building was damaged. And as we walk out, we see that there's swastika painted on the back of the building, which is very disheartening. Chicago police have one person in custody, but that person hasn't yet been charged with any crimes. Chicago police have one person in custody tonight. At this time, we have no further information that this may be part of a larger group effort. Based on the information and the investigation, it is believed that this person acted alone in these incidents. Tonight, during a community meeting, police talked to community members about the investigation. Earlier today, the mayor also condemned the attacks. I'm a black female lesbian, and I know that when they are coming after my brothers and sisters in the Jewish community, they got a list, and I'm also on it. The Jewish community thanks Chicago police today for their diligence this weekend, vowing to stick together. We'll overcome this hate, this darkness, through being kind and being good and being caring for one another. Light is stronger than darkness. Governor Pritzker also tweeted today saying his heart goes out to the entire West Rogers Park community. He says there is no place here in Illinois for this kind of a hate. We are also learning tonight someone was actually physically assaulted and attacked mm. um, during this. Uh, police say they are just investigating. They're mm. talking to a suspect. They're not sure if those incidents are related. And there could be more charges than if that's the case. Yes, yeah. and there might be more than one person responsible. Right. Thanks, Megan.